What is up, you two? How y'all doing? Uh, it's been a while, I'm sorry. Um, but today I'm bringing you back another video. Uh, I did this video a while back. Um, sorry about my hair, I need to give myself a haircut, but that's alright. I'll do that today. But, today, I'm bringing you guys another duty belt video. Because I got more stuff on my belt. So... I'm going to actually give you guys a duty belt update on my belt. Yes, I'm in my closet. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm gonna go from left to right. I might go right to left, either one, but I might just go either this way to this way, this way to this way. There is a lot of stuff that is still on my belt, so that's not that has not changed yet. I do have, um, I'll probably also do a, uh, um, vest setup, sorry about my messy room, I need to clean it, but I might do a vest video, I do, so when I'm on, so when I'm on patrol, or if I'm working a party with my captain Mo or my partner Mo, I, I usually would wear two vests, I'll wear one that goes under your shirt, and then one that would go over your shirt so that one right there the black one would go under my shirt and then that one that says security would go over everything so this one is just oh, excuse me this one is just soft body armor so that one is stop like little rounds that one is has my plates in it that I tried putting in that one but they won't fit but so that one will go over so if I was to get shot at, that would stop him, and then I would still have that one as a backup, so extra armor. But here we go. So I have, I'll put that there. So here is my mag pouch. I love this mag pouch because if I'm running after someone and I happen to trip and fall, I don't have to worry about my mags falling out and then me losing a mag. So they just go in there just like that. Of course, you can see there's nothing in there. Oh, my bullets are in that box right there but i'm not gonna put them in i mean on my but they will just be sitting there whoops wrong way. and then right here is probably where my taser is gonna go when i buy one or if i buy one which i'm thinking about buying one since uh where i get all my gear finally just started selling um a taser at least the taser that i want and then right here's my baton Sometimes gets in the way when I have my vest on, but that's okay. And then right here is my pepper spray. Luckily, I've not had to use it yet. Um, this is the foam on impact spray. Nice size bottle, so I could probably spray it like I don't know a bunch of times if I wanted to. I have used it on targets before, so. Very useful tool. Got to shake it up a lot, I guess. Luckily, I have not had to use this yet. Um, this is a turn my tourniquet. I don't know why Limo gave me this. I don't know why he gave me the basket weave one. I when he knows that my belt is leather, I don't know why, but he did. But that's okay. Uh, I might switch it out. I might not. I might just leave leave like it is. Um, but it, you know, good tool to have. Stupid thing is, I gotta put the time what, of what time a shot happened or whoever got injured or shot. I have to put the time, and I won't get it back, so I have to replace it. So I might just buy a whole pack of them, uh, give half to Mo. I do have one in my pouch right there. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have one. But that uh, came with my metal my red medical bag over there and then moving on i have had to use these twice I'll put that back in there i did have to use these my handcuffs twice um i do want to switch them out or just put another one right here or one here where my gun is i might just put one here where my gun is make it easier even though i don't want to have it in the front i'd rather have it you know, behind me somewhere. So I might switch this out and get 
the um the ones with padding or whatever they would call them and then hiding behind that is my flashlight which i have used because i don't i didn't get a flashlight for my gun but now i do i'll show you that in a second and then moving over this flashlight is really bright sometimes sometimes it's not but sometimes it is um but now it's just gonna be like a backup light but um I have had to use these handcuffs twice, um, and then moving on to what I really love, my new toy, my is my holster with my Glock 22 in it. I will actually take on my Glock 22 for you guys, so you can see the light that's on there. So what it, so how it is is there's a light right here, so this is the light part. So how to take it out is you have to go behind this little shield thing here where my thumb is and you press that down and then you gotta keep it down and draw your to get your weapon out which my my weapon does not want to come out come on hold on it's there we go i got it out finally so this is my 22 40 caliber as you can tell right there uh my glock 22 40 caliber best gun ever i'm glad i bought it so it carries 15 in there. Looks like 25, but it's 15. There we go. So it carries 15. 40 cal. And then this is my tack light. Best light ever. That's how bright it is. 300 lumens. So, yeah. So if I'm, if I'm at night, I can point it on my target. So if there's someone hiding... Uh, other way. So if there's someone hiding over there, and me and Mo were looking for him, if we were to, or if it was at night and we had a someone in a car that we need to get out, we can have our light signed at them to see their hands instead of having one light. And then right here, I had a pouch with my pocket knife in it. Hold on. So I did have a pocket right, a pouch right here with a knife in it, which I took off because it was getting really annoying, especially when I'm driving. It was starting to hurt. Um, so I will actually add in a uh, vest setup. So let me grab my vest. Let me move my belt out of the way. I'll close that up later. Don't worry about that now. All right, let me grab my vest. So here's my vest. I will be trying to put some more pouches on here later on sometime. So, and here is my tourniquet. I did have extra bullets in here for an officer that was working with us. Um, so, this has metal plates in it, as you can hear. So, yeah, and here was is a tourniquet. I'll take it out to show. Sorry about the... So, this is the other tourniquet that I have so if I do have to use a tourniquet then I'll probably use this one I'll have to figure out how to use this one it looks kind of like a seatbelt or rope that you would use for rock climbing but it, uh, this came with that medical bag over there which I have used a few times put that back in there I'll deal with that later and then over here is my medical scissors which I took out of my medical bag to put in on my vest since I've seen a few people have these um i did carry my knife on here i think i lost it or i put it somewhere i don't know where it is but i do have two knives there's one in my medical bag and then one in my uh, sorry about that and then one in my um that i would have on my vest or on my belt which i don't have so i am going to actually switch this out and get a all black one um, I do want to switch this security thing out because it says it on the back too. I do want to take this one off and put a badge on there, just like a Velcro a badge on there instead of having this. Um, but I do like having this on there too, but it's, again, it's on both sides. Uh, you can actually see it's on the back too. And Mo has actually <laughs> dragged me out of a situation with my, uh, Drag thing right here. 
because we were working a party and we were at a shots fired and I was standing in the middle shooting around, shooting rounds at the vehicle that was shooting at us and he had actually and Mark actually grabbed that and dragged me <laughs> um but yeah so that is my belt setup uh, I love you guys please like and subscribe for more videos and uh, go check out my friend Keanu's videos um he hasn't really posted anything lately but I'll, I'll try and see if I can get him to post uh so yeah, love y'all, peace out. <laughs>